up guys? Welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. My name is Annie. I welcome you to come into these tarot readings with an open heart, an open mind, and a desire to better yourself. This is optional advice or guidance meant to motivate you, empower you, inspire you, uh, and offer you confirmations on things that you are already thinking and feeling and sensing. If you don't resonate with the material that comes through, please push those messages aside. They may resonate for you at a later date, and they may not. Have faith it's going out to someone who needs to hear it, even if it is not you. Use your logic, your discretion, your discernment. Separate what is meant for you and what is not. Uh, I come at this with love and positivity, so please take that away here today. You are responsible for all your own actions and decisions. Let's try and have some fun uh, to get you some insightful messages. Check out that box below for the decks I use, how to contact me for a personal, as well as my social media links. Welcome to the tea party. Let's read your tarot cards. What's up, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Your timestamps are right down below so you can hop right to your reading. We're going to start with Gemini in love. So tell me about Gemini's person. Quick shuffle here. All right, Gemini in love. Gemini, let's talk about your person. King of Swords, so possibly a male air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, or this could be you as well, especially if you, Gemini, are a male, you may be sending messages to your lover. I actually am getting two Geminis here, uh, or again, a pairing of air signs. So obviously you being Gemini, um, it could be that you have strong Aquarius in your chart, doesn't really matter to me. Um, but yeah, I see air signs being in communication. And it looks very positive. Uh, you might be at a distance from this person, they might be traveling to see you for the holidays. Uh, there's a there's a warmness that's uh, I don't know if it's revived, but there's a warmness coming into this. So it could be brand new again, especially with a male air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is messaging you warm, fuzzy messages. <laughs> Let's see. So where are you at? <clears throat> All right. So Gemini, mm, you seem busy <laughs> uh, or you I don't know if you're ignoring these messages or there's something else that you have your sights set on some of my Gemini's seem very eager to engage with a Pisces or a Capricorn but something about those two signs they're like they're keeping you waiting uh, and it's not to say you couldn't be dealing with that person over here too but there, that means there, there might be multiple people involved here hold on If this is someone you already know who's coming in to message you a lot or, or again, possibly take flight, travel to see you, you may have had a change of mind or your interests may be wandering because it's almost like they kept you waiting too long. So a lot of my Geminis, it's like you decided to move on from this. Uh, and, you know, certainly the choice is yours. You can choose to revisit it because I do think you have someone coming in to, with excitement for you. But I think your excitement may have, I'm hearing dwindled. What, what a word. Ha, I don't know. Something about it. You aren't as passionate about this person as you used to be. And I think it's because someone new has caught your eye. Some of you feel like uh, you might be heading into a new chapter with your earth sign, your Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Very likely a female earth sign, though, if that makes sense. So Gemini, I have to be honest. Um... Just based on what I know about my analytics, I typically get mostly female followers uh, of all zodiac signs. So this may be channeling your more masculine energy when you approach a, a, a Gemini in your life or, a, I don't know, approach a love situation or I'm reading for my male Geminis. So I'll do another one for you. But yeah, this one, it's a little complicated because... There's one person coming in, like coming in hot, <laughs> sort of though, because I wouldn't say the King of Swords comes in hot, but he's coming in fast. He's directly messaging either the Gemini or the, the one he loves, the lover, the romantic partner, the romantic suitor. But then the person on this side, their attention is on the transformation with someone else, possibly the wife, the mother. It certainly could just be a family member that's preoccupying your time, but... I, I sort of get whoever is not messaging, the other person is moving on because it, it took too long. This person waited too long and they may have lost their chance. So I don't know which one you are, Gemini. <clears throat> I don't know, though. If, if you're waiting to hear back from someone, I would either engage them in conversation so that you guys don't, it's not like a misconnection. But to be honest, I feel like most of my Geminis, you, you, you have eyes on an earth sign right now, whereas you have an air sign interested in you. Of course, it doesn't have to be that, but that's the general message I'm getting. Yeah, what about the Pisces? Uh, Pisces is coming through here, too. So Pisces, Five of Swords. So there's past drama with a Pisces. Yeah, and your your fire, your flame, your passion is leading you elsewhere because I think you've graduated from someone who at one point kept you in Five of Swords. 
head games or if it wasn't head games it was just confusion like I thought they were interested in me but now I don't know a lot of you are like Ugh, I'm done with that <laughs> like please I can barely focus on this I'm not gonna focus on that anymore right <laughs> like yeah a lot of my a lot of my Gemini's are out they are out of an old relationship or or an old flame I don't even think it really took off with a lot of energy it just it's like this person waited too long and now I, I think they lost you I, that message has come through a lot this time around I think it's like they lost their chance with you this King of Swords. Yeah, he's looking at you, Gemini. At one point in time, they may have been engaging with other females, I am getting. But, nah, I don't know. We're not with this one. Yeah, I think a lot of my Geminis, you're going towards someone who has a lot more to offer you. Uh, and I, I don't mean to throw shade on your other person. I just quite literally see the strength card. It could be a card of Leo. And then the Queen of Pentacles, whether you're interested in male or females, and no matter what you are, you are no longer waiting. You are taking action to maybe you're offering a, a message of flirtation or whatever to someone who there's just a lot more stability there. Queen of Pentacles and strength. She is kind of like a maternally type um, energy. She loves to dote on people and take care of them. But she's also no bullshit. Like she's not going to love you if you're not going to love her back. So whoever you are in this scenario, I feel like this has a very strong this has a strong energy around of, I know what I want and I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go chase it. Whereas this one, it's like, there's a lot of waiting. There's a lot of like strategy. And then someone finally comes forward, which I do like only the person they're coming towards seems to have moved on. So it's not to say Gemini, this could be you rushing in to message somebody. But if that's the case, it's like your person is already in the transition of looking at someone else. You may have gotten news that uh, an earth sign just recently became engaged or a Leo for that matter. And it's almost like you missed your chance because you, you didn't come in in time. So anyway, I don't like to do fear-based readings, but I have to be honest, guys, that message has come through a lot recently. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, your male air sign sees chemistry in you, Gemini. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I think he, he was having a magnetic attraction with other people, though, and that seems to be the issue. Even if this is same-sex partnership, there was, a de there was delayed messages from an air sign or a Gemini, but they do seem to be headed in your direction. So take that with a grain of salt. And then... Some of you are holding on moving forward with someone because you're too in your head about it. There's something about it that's new or different than how you've approached romance or dating in the past. But your instinct, your intuition is like, maybe I should go with this even though it's a little bit different. As long as it's not like repulsive or fearful. I, I think a lot of you universe is wanting you to bust through uh, previous things you used to view as obstacles. Or I, I could even see it as if you have a certain type Ultimately, it's not always about just the exterior. You have to factor in the interior. And so I'm not saying your person be ugly. I'm not saying that. What I am saying, though, is that this may have been someone you would have dismissed previously had you not gotten to know them like on the inside first. Yes, this is a cheesy message, but it's like they're, they're the interior of them, their heart is so warm and beautiful that that makes you more attracted to them. That's what I'm getting with this one. Interesting. So this could be potential wedding bells for you, or it's indicating, again, if you're the one who waited too long and you're all of a sudden at you know, Christmas time or whatever you celebrate getting sentimental, you're like, maybe I'll message that person again. You may have lost your chance with them, especially the, or the earth sign, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they might be married. If they're not, if they're single and you know you're single, well, then there's strength there for you. It could be, even if it's not a wedding, there could be something very beautiful and harmonious about that relationship in the future. So, all right, Gemini, let's do one more. That one was a little bit half in, half out. So let's see. What else can I tell Gemini? Let's use Friends Tarot. Happy holidays, Gemini. I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> I see a, a reunion with a Libra down below. Three of Cups and Justice. A, a wedding celebrations. Maybe it's not your wedding. Maybe it's someone else's wedding you're going to meet this person at. All right, new messages for Gemini. Gemini's person, thank you. All right, Six of Cups, so a past soulmate. Um, someone from your past, someone you might be nostalgic about. There could be a revival. Yeah, it seems like someone's thinking about you. Um, they are very um, uh, sexually attracted to you as well, so I don't know how innocent this is, but we'll find out. <clears throat> but you left them out in the cold. <laughs> 
<clears throat> interesting. Or something happened where one or both of you felt abandoned. Uh, some, yeah, something about this relationship, it didn't work out. So I think this person misses you now that uh, you're not in their life. They think back of, there's a, definitely like a shoulda, coulda, wouldas type vibe here. Like, I wish I had treated Gemini better. And, you know, if I could, if I could have my, my new chance with Gemini, where are you at? You're living your best life over here. Yeah, I, I said the same thing to Cancer. Like, if this person's going to come back, it's like, you know, this isn't me telling you. you. Your energy is like, well, you better come correct. Like, there's kind of like this this sassy diva vibe about you. Be, or whether you're male or female. This, this goes to my males as well. Whoever this person from the past who, yes, there was soulmate energy. Something about it was very nice. It was probably very, uh, like, sexually dynamic. Or it was full of passion, but maybe not substance, right? Whether you slept with them or not. That person might be coming back, or they're certainly thinking about it. I don't know if they're taking action on it yet, but they still think about you. Your energy is a little bit more standoffish of, like, you kind of blew it. Like, you didn't treat me right, so, you know, <laughs> prove to me your case, why I should take you back. You have very strong energy here. Friends Tarot, yay. Um, you may be with a Libra or a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and I mean currently. This would not be the same person. This would be someone else. Um... And it's actually a welcomed relief. You're, you're so much happier. So it, it, you're actually, okay, so for my Geminis who have very strong cancer in their chart, I just did cancers before you guys, and there was a very similar message of why would you turn down a good thing in your life just to um, get back someone from the past who kind of didn't treat you great? There's literally the same messages coming through. So if you do uh, resonate strongly with cancer or your person is a cancer or something like that, you may want to check out that reading because there may be more substance to it for you in that one. Yeah, a lot of you are about to uh, go in, uh, go in, I heard hot and heavy, but get deep with a Libra, uh, male or female. A lot of you, I don't think you see it coming. To me, this says like there's something, a brand new Libra. So you might be dealing with multiples. Just putting it out there. Um, but yeah, I, I see a lot of you taking, the, I'm hearing like these almost like swimming into the ocean. These metaphors of like, you know, you're going in deep. You're taking the plunge. You're jumping off the cliff into the waters below. So it could be a water sign too that's, that's uh, hoping you come back to them or something of the sort. But yeah, you've closed out that chapter in your life. I don't think most of you are looking to engage with someone from your past because either you're living your best life and enjoying singlehood. You may be very involved um, with your family, with your career, with a group of best friends. Others of you may still be on dating apps or in a relationship and you're just much happier. So I sort of get this idea of I've graduated from that. That's that's not my person anymore. I, yeah, so the same thing, whether, and this is literally a repeat message of, of Cancer's reading, whatever or however you choose to deal with this person of the past who very likely comes back to message you. I, I do sort of get that vibe. Have they changed their ways? Are their intentions good? I don't know. They're still kind of coming in with Five of Pentacles energy. Not my favorite card. Ultimately, I think the decision factor rests with you, Gemini. And I, I have to say, your cards are incredibly strong. Look at you. You got all the female empowerment from the Friends Tribe. You got Phoebe, Rachel, and Monica. It's almost like your best friends are going to help you through this, or, or, you know, it could be your romantic partner, same-sex couples, whatever it is. When this person comes back, it puts you in a position to be like, oh, I didn't see that coming. Now I have choices. Now I have options. Whatever option you choose, and I'm not here to tell you what to choose. I'm just showing you the energy available. Do not let this person from your past start spinning you into nine of swords energy because that is a sign that the arrival of this person's energy into your life again i'm, I'm calling i'm saying again it's it's a mental disturbance they infringe on your peace of mind so if they come in and all of a sudden you're in a tizzy of like well i let them go but maybe they've changed and this is like universe saying no <laughs> the proof will be in the pudding when this person comes forward you, they won't leave you with the sense of well did i or shouldn't i or how do i yeah, if, if you're being thrown into this anxiety, depression, thoughts out of control, that's not the one. The right person will bring you a sense of calm and peace of mind, so don't worry about it. Some of you, you have a Libra. Uh, I'm sorry. I did say Libra, though, so I'm going to stick with that, but also a Leo coming back where it's this type of vibe. At one point, they were juggling you, <clears throat> or you were possibly juggling them, and they're coming in all sweet and like, oh, hey, Gemini, but it's like, you know what you did like who are you like who are you coming to me with oh hey like they're just being very like nonchalant like no big deal like we don't have any baggage we're good and you're like no we're not like who are you like i don't know it's like i i'm sort of getting this idea of like how dare you come back into my life 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't see you rekindling it with the Leo if you do indeed have a Leo from your past. So, yeah, or there was a tower moment with a Cancer. Yeah, it could be someone you were married to as well. Uh, yeah, the there's the the deeper I dig into that, the messier it gets. So for most of you, I think Spirit is saying you've graduated from the old cycle. Look forward to the new one. So, all right, Gem, 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 Gem. Happy holidays. Book a reading with me. I'm accepting personal readings. I have time to do it. So hit me up in those emails down below uh, if you want to, if you want to book a personal. That would be super cool. It's a good way to support this channel as well. All right. Let's hop in for my Libras. <clears throat> All right. Tell me about Libra. Actually, let's use this deck. All right, Libra, what's up? Let's read your tarot cards. <clears throat> your person is thinking about coming in, but they're they're like moody or I don't know. There's stagnancy in them moving forward with love offers because they're probably stuck on the past. Yeah. So your person is still in, in a headspace where they're thinking back to people who didn't treat them right. So rather than moving on, they're they're delaying any sort of potential with you because they're they're still stuck in their feels about the past. Uh, especially with their cancer. So if that's you, you know, take the message. This could be your energy too. But yeah, it's like this person is sort of waiting to hear back from an ex who's gone cold or silent on them. Again, particularly a cancer or an Aquarius. And so they might be messaging you a little bit, but if you're sensing that your person isn't all in, that's why. Because I don't think they're with another person. I think they're thinking about another person. And so there's this... They're apprehensive to go full on in with you because they're, yeah, it's like they haven't fully healed from a past relationship, especially a same sex partnership is coming through very strongly here. All right, let's see. So then on your side here, let's see. Yeah, I think I, I'm sort of getting this metaphor of my Libras are like hoping and praying and manifesting that this person comes in more because the thing is i think you guys are already messaging or know each other but it's like oh I, I hope this time they're really gonna like they're gonna ask me out or they're gonna make it official or whatever the thing is i think your intuition already kind of knows that you're not the only one in the running it's almost like i'm viewing it as like a competition you know that this person is interested in you but you're wondering well what's the hesitation what's the delay the delay is that you're not the only one that has their attention and so i think you are setting yourself up for disaster by engaging with someone who doesn't know what they want. So I would just caution you, you know, you can hope it and wish it and pray it into existence, but ultimately, wouldn't you rather have this person come forward when they're ready to, to be with you exclusively versus like kind of sort of dating you, but also thinking about their ex? Because I'm just gonna pose this scenario. What happens when the ex does message them? Are they just gonna up and leave you? Like, that's not, that's not cool, right? That's not great. Um, give me one outcome for this scenario. Uh, will this weigh in Libra's favor? Fool and judgment. It's, it's, it's usually the fool is not literally don't be foolish, but in this there is. It's like make a good judgment call. Don't don't be this like not wanting to address the elephant in the room, which is there's three people in the mix here. And again, I'm not saying you're necessarily privy to that information, but your intuition is saying something is weird here. Something is fishy. Why aren't they coming forward? Or why are, why are they hot and cold with me? Like some days they text me all the time and other days they don't text me back. Again, it, it, they don't know what they want. They're in this weird stagnancy of their emotions where they're not ready to let go of the past, but they're not ready to completely engage in a, a new romantic relationship. This feels like they've put you in the friend zone and it's like they're keeping you warm. They're keeping you on the back burner. But I personally think that's a shitty thing to do to someone. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you have tower vibes all over this. And then this is saying to me, uh, don't play. Don't play the fool. Don't be silly. Don't be. Here's the thing. It's Sagittarius season, right? Don't be overly optimistic when you know the truth already. It's like you're glossing over the details of what you don't like and only taking heart in, you know, if you're shopping around on tarot readings and tarot readers, which by all means you should do. You should watch this reading and then watch three others. See if there's similar messages. I'm sort of getting you only listen to the ones that tell you what you want to hear when internally you know, all right, well, the tarot reading says this. So do you know what I mean? I, I just, I guess I'm asking you to use your logic, use your discernment, as I always do with these readings. And, and it goes for these messages too. Don't just take away what you want to hear. Take away the full picture, which is sometimes this person doesn't message you and it's kind of weird. You need to at least acknowledge that. And by all means, if you want to continue to engage in this person, 
I'm not here to stop you, but this is saying don't be foolish. Make a good judgment call based on the evidence, the substance, the pentacles that are right in front of you. Yeah, I, I see this as there's a good word for it and I can't come up with it. Naive. Don't be naive. Thank you, Spirit. That's exactly the word. All right, let's do another one for my Libras because I know that's not for everyone. Let's, um, yeah, let's see this one. No. All right, Libra. One more message for my Libras. Make it a quick one. Let's let's connect with a new group of Libras, please. A new group of Libras. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so possibly a Fire King, an Aries Leo Sagittarius, wanting to offer you their world. Absolutely, Libra. This is beautiful. Okay, totally different message here. Let's see if your energy matches, though. So Fire King, Aries Leo Sagittarius, closing out an old chapter and welcoming in a new one. This is not closing out a chapter with you per se. This could be engaging in the next level, right? Four of Wands. It's stability. It's um, uh, sort of safety, but... Uh, ultimately with wands it grows so sometimes this is to me like a milestone in a relationship it could even be moving in together even if it's not like um you know wedding bells but it certainly could be sometimes this is a wedding and i mean this card certainly looks like it's a party at minimum so maybe you guys are celebrating a special anniversary or something again very strongly with a fire sign uh, possibly a travel opportunity maybe with your sagittarius or your leo interesting it could be an aries as well some of you may be in a wedding. Even if you're already married, you may have a, a sibling or a family member or something where you, you're, uh, it could be your best friend, you're in the wedding party. And so if you're single, maybe that's where you meet somebody. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, you could meet a fire sign or a Capricorn or um, a Cancer at a wedding. All right, so then where is Libra on this person? For most of you, this feels like a fire sign that you're already with, uh, sorry, a fire sign you were already with. You're very likely moving to the next level of engagement or commitment with them. All right, now, now here's the real test. Let's see what Libra's energy is like, because usually I get these beautiful things and then the other side is like, oh, towers, five of swords, you know, eight of cups. So let's see, what, where is Libra at with this? Can we give Libra a, a clear one? Six of Pentacles. Okay, and then you, you have another king here with a Nine of Wands. So there we go. <laughs> Libra, what are you doing to me? So you have two kings. Um, you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and then you have the King of Discs, as in Pentacles, because you know what happens when I say King of Discs really fast. You, you, get, what I'm, you get what I'm saying there? <laughs> Let's call him the King of Pentacles so I don't make any, any social blunders here. Soulmate energy, past energy with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, shadow side. Something about the shadow side or the energy wasn't quite there. Nine of Wands. Ew. I don't know what to do with this. See? It, it all started so good. This can still be your message. All right. Yeah. Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. Go with a new fire sign. Or again, if you're already with a fire sign or a Capricorn that you're really into or a Cancer for that matter, that's going places. This might be an entirely different story. Some of my Libras may be juggling two people at once. Even if that's the case, it seems like your fire sign is really like, yes, let's move forward. Let's date. Let's be exclusive. If you're juggling two people, and you might be Libra, um, it's saying that your Earth King, your Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, in fact, same-sex partnership is here as well. Um, your, your King of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is there's something, I don't know, there's, I'm just going to say it, there's like a darker energy. I don't know what that's about. Give me, what is this? The tower. That has a tower vibe too. I was going to say, there might be two people. Sometimes the six of pentacles, it's a card of reciprocity, but can also be a card of three people. And I'm sort of sensing that's what that might be. If it's not yet, it could be that you're just kind of casually dating this earth, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but they're not all in. And so there could be a revelation later on that they're, they were never going to commit to you because they, they value their bachelor, bachelorette lifestyle. And I mean, that could be you too. I'm just saying, but yeah, there's tower vibes with the King of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn it could be that someone lost their job and so um i would never encourage this but it's possible that the the cause and effect there is that this person is going to sink into some sort of like defense mechanism or even like a state of depression something may take a very heavy toll on them that by default is going to impact your ability in this relationship to thrive and have a good time and then so then here's the other thing there's so many storylines here if you are currently married or in a long-term relationship with an earth sign, 
You may have someone from your past reach out to you, particularly a fire sign. And again, I'm getting the same story I got before. There's temptation there. So, you know, do that what you will. What's between these connections is magic, though. There's a magician showing up. There's also a trickster, though. That's your that's your Earth King. Sorry. I don't always say that. I love my Earth signs, but there's something tricky with the Earth King. I don't like the vibe. It's got the tower. It's got the nine of wands, possible third party stuff. And the magician, if it, in a lower vibration, it's a trickster. It's someone who doesn't... The idea of illusion, right? The, the magician, the magic act. You can't see what's behind the curtain. And that's what this is. It's being defensive. There's something you don't know about this person where I think when you find out, you would save yourself the hassle of distancing yourself rather than, again, being naive, playing this whole like, oh, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Y your intuition is telling you to worry about it, though, because there's something there that isn't right. Uh, that being said, you do have a new partnership possibly with a water sign, a fire sign. Some of you are going to be engaged to a fire sign. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Children, some of you are going to have children in your love life soon. And then attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Uh, I think there's a Virgo or a Gemini from your past who's regretting that they didn't treat you better. What's the deal with that? They're thinking about communicating with you, Libra, but they're not doing it yet. What's the deal with that? Make the effort and deception. Yeah, because they deceived you. I and mean, it might be this person too, especially a Virgo. Yeah, there's something about they either lied or they weren't forward with their feelings in the past. And so they're sitting with it and it's not sitting with them right. For my cross watchers on Libra, they're sort of being told to go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. That being said, Libra, you know, don't be fooled by the magician. <laughs> I don't know. Proof is in the pudding. All right, let's see. Yeah, that was your second one, Libra, right? Oh my goodness. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius. All right. All right, what's up, Aquarius? Let's talk about your love life. Let's talk about Aquarius's person. Who's coming in for Aquarius? A Capricorn. A Capricorn is extending their hand to you in a, a very significant offer. I This person had to go out on a limb to do it. I don't know if they are taking a risk because maybe they don't know you super well, but they're this person seems confident by the gesture they extend to you, but on the inside, they're actually shaking in their boots because I think they really like you. And, and the thing is, this person has been contemplating for a long time whether I'm sort of getting if it was appropriate to step up because maybe you're already dating someone and so they're taking a risk by even putting it out there that they like you. There was a lot of internal contemplation and I'm sort of getting the idea that your person feels like they have nothing to lose. You know, if they, it's like they're... they're um, justifying it. Well, okay, if I, if I extend an offer to Aquarius and they reject me, at least I'll know. And to be honest, I actually dig this vibe. Like I am so a proponent of people just putting themselves out there, putting your best foot forward. And if you get rejected, well, at least there's clarity, right? I love that Aquarius because that's what your person is doing. If you have very strong Capricorn in your chart, Aquarius, this could also be you. Um, I very much see a, this is the devil card, but first of all, just this is not the typical depiction. And I love it because what he's offering is actually like a seed that needs growth. It, it wants longevity. It's, you know, the acorn to the oak tree. There was some contemplation there. I think this person was sort of, it was rattling in their brain about, well, when do I make the offer? And should I ask them out? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe they don't like me. Ultimately, though, they do. And I, I like, I don't know. I just really dig this energy, Aquarius. I like that a lot. Again, seems pretty new to me. This doesn't seem like... Unless, of course, you are dating a Capricorn and you're looking for the engagement ring, maybe. Or a Libra, for that matter. All right, here we go. So tell me who's on the other side of this. Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person communicates. Yeah, so there's this thing about this person was deliberating on what time to come in. And it's almost like they wanted it to be convenient for you. And ultimately, they chose to move forward with it anyway. Because again, I think they're trying to honor their truth and their feelings that they want to express something to you. Unfortunately, I do sort of think it does come at a time where, yeah, it's confusing for you. So I don't know if you just got out of a relationship and this person kind of rushed in to be like, oh, hey, I'm interested in you. That's sort of what this feels like. There's something about the timing of when this 
this offer is made to you, this person kind of knows it might not be the best time, but they do it anyway. So you can interpret that differently. I sort of see it as this person is honoring their feelings and they're wanting, wanting you to know. It's not that they're trying to be manipulative or force something into your life that doesn't fit. I just sort of get this impression of like, it's now or never, and if I hold back, I'm gonna regret it, so I'd rather just tell Aquarius. <laughs> But again, your energy here, Ten of Swords and Ace of Swords, and this is a very interesting Ace of Swords. You see how there's like a labyrinth in her mind? There's like that spiral staircase. You can even see like there's math equations. It, there's something complex about something going on in your mind right now. You may be in the process of moving or switching jobs. You may be just out of a very difficult and long relationship. So it's like, I think you're just trying to catch your breath and breathe, and all of a sudden you're kind of being... I don't want to say bombarded, but essentially it's like this person, I think this person expresses a very warm, kind gesture to you and you're like, oh, we have to talk about feelings right now. Like, it, that, and I'm not saying you don't like to do that, but what I am saying is the timing of it, you're just like, I started getting like, that's the last thing I want to worry about right now. And I don't know. So maybe you don't have feelings for this person. Maybe that's why it's awkward, but I just heard don't shoot them down though. So there might be something the universe is trying to get you to see about this person. Yeah, some of you have, have ended something with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and like it's, it felt like it was a very exhaustive process. So you're just like, okay, I'm just, I'm sort of getting like, I'm just gonna be single for a second. Like I just need to breathe. So what's the deal? Some of you need to go spend time at the ocean or by the water. There's something very, especially if you have Pisces in your chart, it doesn't matter. It's, I mean, water, being by the water is good for anybody, but especially for you, Aquarius, I'm just being told spending time by the seaside in a boat, by the lake, on the ocean, what, wherever or whatever you want to call it. Uh, even if you have some sort of like bedtime ritual where you listen to like, you know, sounds of nature as you fall asleep, especially running water. <laughs> Just don't pee the bed, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So, yeah, see, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Very interesting. So the Wheel of Fortune is a good card. In reverse, it can mean there's a delay in this connection. And the thing is, I think it's on your end. This person extends an offer to you and you might not be ready to accept the offer. Or it might be that if you just got out of a relationship, whether or not you are still emotionally having attachments to your ex there's something about you're still in the process of closing out that ending. And so again, there's there's like delay or pause here, but something beautiful is going to come in or it's trying to come in. But you you quite literally might be like, I'm not ready for it. Like I don't, so I don't know why you're watching a Tara Love video if that's the case, but you know, maybe you're checking to see if your ex is still thinking about you. I don't know. All right, now I have to read for that. The ex is, if Aquarius is interested in an ex, this Ten of Swords X, though, usually Ten of Swords is like you're better off alone or you're better off with someone else. I just have to say it, but but you know what? Not necessarily. It could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius. Uh, Pisces. Yeah, they still think about you, too. There was a duality, though, about this. So this was, was either you or the X. It's almost like you guys had to be different people when you were with each other, but then in your social life at work, you were like this happy person, but then it's like when you would come home to them, I don't know if there was a lot of arguments or fights, but it felt like, it, it feels like you, you had to be a different person. It's like it changed your identity or who you were being with them. And I do want to say for the negative, it could just be, it, there was a very stressful relationship where it just was like you became a monster. You, you became someone else when you had to deal with them or vice versa. So yeah, I, I almost see this ending as a blessing in disguise, even though you may still love this person a great deal. I think right now the universe is like, let's just, let's release that and see what happens if we try out something new. If you were not uh, recently divorced from a Gemini or a Pisces, you have one thinking about you. And again, wanting to express some sort of love offer to you. Yeah, it's a very important for you to find peace of mind right now. All these cards, do you see there's like a meditative quality? It's about quieting your mind. It's about not um, not allowing your power or giving up your power to like crazy insane thoughts or just lots of things going on at once. There's just like a, like let's deal with them one at a time and, and um, like delegate, understand what we can deal with practically at this time. Even this, it's like, I just feel like you guys need to exhale. There's just like, there's a lot of stress that you're, I think you're ending that cycle of stress and yet you're still kind of wrapped up in it. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's like you haven't quite transitioned to the new cycle. I think universe is trying to get you there, but 
I think some of you just need more sleep. Some of you, it seems like you're up at all hours of the night. You may have unusual sleeping habits or sleeping patterns, especially if you work the night shift, if you're like a nurse or you do all your writing at 2 a.m. or whatever it is, there's something that you need to treat your body better in terms of getting more sleep, refueling your tank. It feels like you're running on empty. You also have a cancer who's dreaming about you. That could be an ex as well. There's a cancer who they're, they're spinning out about you. It, it might be that they don't know where you stand. Okay, so I'm actually getting a really cool message too about your ex, Aquarius, especially if you were married to them, but it doesn't have to be. There is, in time, there's a beautiful, happy realization that you guys were better off separate but friends. There's, and so this won't be everyone's message, right? If you effing hate your ex, this isn't your message. But there's something about we just couldn't make it work romantically when we were together, but now that we're not, we can be friends and it's so great. It's almost like you guys wish each other well. You love each other no matter who you're with, whether you're with each other or someone else. But there was something toxic about you guys living under the same household or something about that, like it ruined the friendship. A lot of you are going to come to find, especially with your Cancer or your Virgo, in time, the friendship will be salvaged. And I know some of you are still on the fence of, but, but could it be love again? Maybe. It's different for all of you. For most of my Aquarians, this is going to be an amazing friendship that you carry with you throughout this lifetime, possibly in other lifetimes, but it's better as friendship. And I don't get that message a lot, but I actually really dig this. And it seems like you both are coming at it from a very mature, responsible, higher vibrational, evolved way of thinking, where if you were spinning out about it at one point in time, it's like we're gonna calm, we're gonna calm down and it's going to make sense. It makes more sense with someone here. Um, this is a cool message. Uh, uh, it works better as friendship. There's something about, now this could be literal, sorry, this could be literal. For most of you, it's a metaphor about the idea of, of a spasm in your lungs. That's what happens when you uh, have the hiccups, right? It's like a spasm in your lungs. Felt like when you were living in the same household or whatever, there was anxiety and there was like this upset in the breathing pattern of just like, rather than like this Zen yoga meditative, like breathe in and breathe out. Like generally we like that, that's calming. It's good for our body, right? There's something about that where you feel like you can breathe again, where when you were in this relationship, metaphorically, it felt like you were gasping for air. There could have even been something about what you were taking into your lungs, like tox toxic air or toxins in the air, like an unhealthy environment. Some of you could have been smokers and maybe you were chain smoking while you go went through this divorce or your person could have even had uh, issue, like lung issues, you know, asthma or something of the sort. There's something about there's a there's a better breathing quality when you guys separate. But again, you can salvage the friendship. So it wasn't for nothing. Not all is lost here. I think a lot of you, when, when you're ready to, I don't sense that a lot of my Aquarians are really ready to. So maybe this is for the cross watchers. I don't know. When you're ready to engage in new love, I think the universe has someone there. <laughs> the universe has someone there like, okay, I'm going to put my money on this one because I think this one could make Aquarius happy. I'm not sure Aquarius is ready to be happy yet in terms of welcoming in new love. So you'll know if that's your story. All right. I actually really like that message, though. It seems really, really beautiful. And there's definitely a Pisces contemplating about you, Aquarius. I've seen that several times. You're, yeah, you're the Pisces wish fulfillment. So, um, all right, let's do, let's do one more with a new deck. I feel like in my Aquarian readings, I can do wacky, like, oracle readings, and they, uh, they just work for you guys. You guys allow me to do things differently, and I appreciate that. <laughs> all right. Let's get a new one for Aquarius. The tiger, someone who's a drummer or a musician. A fire sign possibly. Yeah, there's a fire sign flying in. It could be, uh, again, Aries, Leo, Sag. They might literally be flying to see you for the holiday or they're messaging you. Um, again, this person works very late hours. Like their main... Or maybe they're just, in, I don't know, maybe they live in Alaska where it's dark all the time or, or something of the sort. Something it's like they're up during, what do they call that? Like the night shift or a red eye or something like that. They work a lot at night. So again, maybe they're in a band, maybe they're a musician, they're playing venues at night. Or again, like a, a nurse or something. Like they're, the source of their income or their work is done when it's like pitch black. Maybe they work in a photo developing lab. There's something about dimly, dim lights. All right. 
Um, oh, God. I'm, I don't love this word, but I am hearing it, so I'll say it. For some of you, this might be have like a twin flame type vibe to it. There's definitely lover's vibe. It could be a Gemini. Um, yeah, this person is determined to get your attention. Um, it's not in a um, like predator type way. Like it's not that you need to be worried, but this person is fiercely loyal. They're very protective of you. Um, and they they it's like they will fight to be in your life because they love you. That's what I'm getting here. It could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yes, yeah, so there's something, I don't mean to repeat the message, but it's sort of similar in that there's something very delicate about you right now. It could be that you were dealing with a, a health issue or recuperating, whatever that means to you, from heartbreak, from, a, from an ex, from a medical issue, whatever. You are healing and recuperating, and so I don't, I don't know if this makes sense, but the vibe I'm getting from the Aquarians right now is that you're not totally stoked to rush into a relationship. In fact, you may energetically be giving off the vibe that you are very much not ready for people to come in and flirt with you. And if you are, I am going to redirect you to this card and say, well, you're not showing that. There's something very wispy and delicate about the butterfly wings. It's like you're learning how to fly again. It's In metaphor, it's like you've just emerged from the cocoon and you're in this new chapter and it's like... You're finding your footing is what I'm getting from that. Energetically, you're giving off this, I'm not allowed to swear, this F you vibe, even though subconsciously you might not even know it, right? And again, I'm seeing a lot of blackness, a lot of darkness. Give me one more on that. Allow yourself the proper time to heal. Only you get to decide when you want to put yourself out there again. And for some of you, it's almost like, it's almost like you emerged into a new chapter and you immediately were like, I miss the cocoon. So I, I could take that as a metaphor of like, I almost want to be back in the cocoon, back in my cozy, safe spot. I could also interpret that as, so you may have moved recently. You may be desiring moving back to your old place or your old city or your old relationship. Some of you may be missing your ex, even though you know it wasn't a healthy relationship because it was familiar. Again, even if there was fighting, there was something cozy about falling asleep next to a person. You knew them, right? You know, something of the sort. It's like, yeah, I just keep getting you. You're getting cold feet when you try and put yourself back out there. I think emotionally you're not quite ready yet. You may still be fighting with an ex or fight. There's there's arguments and fighting going on. Something about being socially awkward. I don't know if that's how you feel or maybe someone's coming in and flirting with you and you're like, oh, they're awkward. Like I don't, there's something about the energy that you're not stoked about engaging with them yet. So don't, you don't need to Aquarius. Tell me about this fire sign, the Gemini, the air sign, whoever this is who's interested in, in Aquarius. Yeah, okay, so eventually this person gets the vibe that you're not interested in them. So maybe there's just there's no passion there for you, or maybe like for most of you, it's just not a good time. That's what I'm getting. So why are you watching tarot love videos? Go take care of yourself, Aquarius. I don't know. I'm just getting a vibe that this person eventually is gonna walk away because they know that you're it's like a closed door with you right now. And again, energetically you're giving off that vibe, even if you don't mean to. Open yourself up to love if you're truly ready for it. So here's the thing. This person is going to walk away because they do respect you. They don't want to force you into a relationship when you're not ready. But it's almost like they're still carrying a torch for you in their heart. So they're reluctantly walking away because I think they get the message that Aquarius is not ready for this right now. But I feel like if you were to revisit this at a later time, when you are ready to emerge from the cocoon, this person essentially I get the vibe they will still be waiting for you, which I don't necessarily condone. I don't think we should put our romantic life on pause for people. However, it could just be a situation with divine timing, right? Maybe that's why your wheel of fortune was in the reverse, where if you give this a little bit more time and space, this could actually come together in a really beautiful way. Uh, but yeah, there's something on your end, Aquarius, that's tripping you up. Or again, you can reverse the energy. Maybe this is your person, but, but it still stands. If this is your person, they're not ready. They're just not ready yet. Why? Because they're in the process of closing out a cycle and physically that old cycle may not be around them. I'll say visually. They're not with the ex. They're not in that old apartment. They're not at the old job. But energetically they're still or mentally they're still there. So it, again, someone needs to come to terms with 
with the new chapter and, and embrace it. Look optimistically towards the future. There's still something in the past that's hindering your ability to move forward or vice versa. Again, rest. You need to rest your body. You've had like three or four cards indicating you need to sleep better at night. Your, your brain, your mind is running rampant and it's, it's just not good for you. It's just not healthy. Talk to a doctor. You know, if you're having issues with your sleep, that's very important. Yeah, you're coming into it. A lot of you are going to have a chance to act or be in the limelight or be on stage. If that has to do with your career, it could be that you recently gotten rejected. If you're living like the, I don't, I don't know who's doing this, but if you're living like the actor life or doing something in arts and entertainment where it's a little bit risky, some of you, it's like the last rejection just about broke you. And so part of you may be considering leaving acting or whatever this is in metaphor entirely. The next one is going to be your lucky break. So prepare yourself, enjoy the rest, enjoy the lull, because there's something where you get a message of communication for whatever, a job, a relationship, and it's it's divinity. It's, it's written in the stars, you guys are meant to shine. This is like a Grace Kelly type card, the hermit, possibly with a Virgo. What is the, yeah. The Virgo is shining his lantern on the two of cups. Love or partnership, it could be business partnership, especially in acting, I'm getting that very, very strongly here. Acting or something where you are the center of attention, you're at the center of the room, or <laughs> could be dealing with a Leo, right? Um, yeah, enjoy the rest. Make sure you're taking care of your body so that you can um, uh, be off to the races when this opportunity comes around. It's almost like you have to be physically ready for opportunity to come to you because right now you're not. Um, and I know that's frustrating if you're unaware of it, but I, I do think the message still stands. You may not be consciously aware of it, that you have internal internal healing to do. Don't neglect that. It's going to be very important for you, and it's clearly a factor in your love life right now. So, all right, Aquarius, that's what I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe. If you want to book a personal reading, I would love to do that with you. Just uh, shoot me an email. That is in the box below. Other than that, have a happy holiday, and I will see you guys soon for more tarot. Bye.